So there's been a lot of discourse about nerfing Nurse and a lot of just hate in general. And coming from someone who has far too many hours on this particular character, I'm asked, do you think this hate is deserved? And I'm here to tell you yes. <laughs> Next week, or whenever this is, because the devs don't like to tell us the exact date for whatever fucking reason. Anyways, Deadheart is being decrowned a half a second endurance, down from one, 50% decrease in time compared to PTB. Decisive Strike is being reduced to three seconds instead of five seconds. Yeah, it, it's just, it's just, the, why, why use Decisive Strike when you can use off the record, to, to be honest? So that's going bye bye Then there's this whole obsession with the number 10 like 10% less distance after being hit, 10% faster kicking speed, 10% reduced basic attack cooldown, Jen's taking 10 seconds longer. Since they are removing endurance stacking, which is, I feel like it was necessary because I don't think the newer player would want to deal with all of the hits, um, especially as an M1 killer, but this encourages my reasoning for nerfing Nurse even further. If they're lowering the use of Dead Heart or they want to remove it from people's loadouts, Decisive Strike as well, and nerfing Chase mechanics, while also making the game last longer with more gen charges, uh, you know, on top of stacking Scorch Hook, Gift of Pain with Thana, right? What the hell are you supposed to do against a Nurse? What can you do? And if people are mad about it right now, where they're DCing constantly, even during an update where there's tons of extra BP, like 500, 600%, what makes you think that people are going to want to stay against a nurse after this update goes up, goes through? Why do you think that's healthy for the game? So now we kind of have to go into the whole discussion of how the hell did nurse get so overtuned and what happened? <laughs> We have to talk about our history before we can even go into that discussion. For a while, when I started playing DPD in 2018, she had add-ons that granted extra blinks, there wasn't a charge system, so as soon as fatigue was over, she was back to having whatever charges she loaded in with, two default to as many as five, which is <laughs> kind of fucking insane. Nurse was then nerfed to a charge system when I returned, but still had a lot of core issues like blink bug preventing her ability to blink until an action was made or a time was waited in between, which is f which was annoying because when I left, this was an issue. <laughs> You were still able to blink, but you just didn't see any animation. It was still usable in some sense. But then they fixed this and they made it into this. I was getting kind of salty because I kept getting blink bug and just bugs in general. But the game seems to be not me over with like weird stuff. So I'm in a better mood. I've been pretty good at like uh, changing the, oh my God. Which is just even worse. You also weren't able to M1 right after, and for the longest time I thought it was crazy because I didn't know it was a bug. <laughs> I just thought I was bad. And uh, it was just really hard to play her, um, even non return. And to see same bugs from when I left was just annoying because it's been two years. Range add-ons were normal in speed, as you can notice here in my old perkless streak video, but the distance traveled with a short blink was the same as their default. Overall, there wasn't much vocal distaste for Nurse from the community at this time. People disliked her and found these add-ons to be strong, but due to her bugs, there wasn't many Nurse players to complain about in public matches anyway. These bugs essentially turned people off from wanting to go through with her and learn her, so not many people played her. <laughs> After turning her off for a month and fixing the bugs involving being trapped in animations, Nurse felt the smoothest she's ever felt since release, which was in 2016 <laughs> and here we are in 2022. <laughs> She became a character that was easier to pick up. Easier to pick up. You see what I'm getting at? New players no longer had to research why they were experiencing bugs they couldn't control and be frustrated with. They could just play her. However, this brought back an old bug that gave Nurse faster blink speed. This was originally removed a long time ago, yet snuck in during the coding of the recent Nurse rework. 
The problem, it's not her normal blinks that are gaining speed, it's her range. Range has always been Thursa's best add-on next to recharge. There's no need to buff it, and there's already little drawbacks aside from learning the longer charge, but once you knew it, it was already hard to counter. Until recently, I used range to supplement recharge pretty heavily. I love range, it's a lot of fun, you don't have to do as much searching since you're on the map quicker and chases were easier. I was able to conserve add-ons, so I didn't burn through double recharge too. However, during this time, I learned that speed was affected, and which I agreed it was problematic, I continued to use range because I figured, well, if the developers see how powerful it is, it will be corrected, right? Like, because when you push stuff to the breaking point, that's how we get nerfs. So let's just make some noise and they'll listen. Nurse was already getting a lot of DCs, so it's only a matter of time, right? Nope, the developers confirmed that this bug we have been reporting, a bug that has returned from old nurse into new nurse and was originally removed, was actually working as intended. My optimism for what I was trying to do shifted into worry as we were already in an era currently of stacking slowdown perks and we already have a nerfed version of the exhaustion status effects from prior to when this was deemed as a bug. And now we're approaching the mid-chapter update sometime at the end of this month where a lot more is changing, but it's working as intended. So, until recently, I never tried double range. I just wasn't ever interested in sacrificing my recharge. I told my stream I would run barbecue and we will give double range a go to see how oppressive it really feels. And it went just as you would expect. <laughs> Very lethal. Survivors couldn't react with a dead hard, and often I would bait it anyway as a habit, but I realized I didn't need to. I could catch up to whoever I wanted, regardless if they made the smart play, and as long as I didn't overblink, holding W didn't really mean shit. I felt rewarded for my errors, whereas survivors were punished for their skill. So let's fast forward to what happens next week, or whenever this mid-chapter thing comes out. <laughs> if survivors stop running dead hard, decisive, iron will, and gain less distance upon being hit, theoretically being weaker than what they are today against the current default nurse and chase, something that she excels at, why should she remain untouched? The issue with Nurse right now is she's much easier to pick up compared to before, and she's being rewarded too heavily for poor plays. Nurse can be nerfed and remain strong, so here are some of the changes I would like. Dowsy inspired some of this conversation on Twitter, and while his changes are pretty fair, I like to add my input to create conversation. If you made it this far, thanks. I'd love to hear your input and responses in the comments. I normally make commentary TTV videos, so this is entirely out of my comfort zone. I really appreciate you even sticking around this far and listening, so back to the video. The first being one, hits from blinks no longer count as basic attacks, prevent sloppy butcher and expose perks from applying. While this sounds good in theory, I feel like it would be too limiting and possibly a little much to go for at this time, so I'd like to meet halfway with an idea that another nurse main mentioned while in my chat the other day. One blink would be a regular hit, whereas a chain blink would make it into a special attack. This would have a skill curve to managing blinks and rewarding accuracy for skillful plays that involve the exposed status effect while also nerfing the strength of such perks. Purple range and the blink speed on these add-ons should be removed. I agree. He does not mention green, but mentions that speed add-ons should be added. I am uncertain about green range, especially if the idea of speed add-ons come into play, because you can just stack the best speed add-on and green range, and we fall back into the issues regarding reaction time. Personally, I don't I think there should be any speed add-ons as they can stack with recharge too, although my opinion may change on this after the update when I experience the meta shift. 
Now, I don't believe that recharge add-ons need to be touched. We can argue that these add-ons fall back into the same and of rewarded heavily for poor plays, but recharge isn't as impactful as the current speed slash range, and we see add-ons of similar strength double recharge on different killers. I would not mind an increase though in rarity as making recharge purple and green instead. This way it's balanced where these add-ons are really good, and you should be paying for them and grinding for them. I would like to see other unique blink add-ons added like Metal Spoon and Badman's Keepsake, both of which add another perks effect for doing a blink attack. I always thought that was pretty neat. Being able to add perk effects for even a short amount of time just makes a more unique experience and I think that's a good thing. In summary, I think Nurse had a lot of changes that eventually caught up to her passively to where she feels overtuned. But we can still nerf her in a way that won't disrupt skillful players and possibly help the DC meta I'm currently seeing. Her charge system rework made it so she was harder to play while also being rewarding, and I'd like to return back to that. Just please don't over nerf her or any killer for that matter to where they turn into this. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys during the chapter drop. Later.